Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back. How do you make a million bucks in real estate in 2022? This is a three part video series. Uh, if you're tuning in guys, you, you saw the first video. This is gonna be video number two out of three. In the first video, we, we covered the first three steps to making a million bucks in real estate in 2022. My name's Enrique, PRG Real Estate Brokered by EXP. Um, we talked about in the first video, you have having the right mindset, knowing your numbers, having a laser focused plan that you're gonna follow. And now we're gonna cover three more points in this video. So let's get into it guys. So step number four out of the eight steps that we're laying out for you is you gotta track your numbers, right? You could have this big plan that you're laser focused on, but if you don't know uh, you're, uh, if you don't know if you're on track, if you're not checking in with yourself, you know, weekly, monthly, quarterly, how do you know that you're on track and on pace to hit your numbers, right? Uh, this is something that many, many, many agents, including myself, I used to a long time ago, shy away from, right? Because it's not the sexy part of the business. No one likes tracking their numbers. No one likes you know, uh, looking over their numbers. If, if you're in real estate and you're a salesperson, you want to be out there talking to customers and getting deals and contract and doing all that stuff. It's not the sexy part of the business, but it's the most crucial part, right? You have to set up these milestones throughout the year so that you can know if you're on track. Let's say you're trying to sell 40 million in volume uh, for the year at two and a half percent to hit a million dollars in, in gross commission income. Well, you can now break that down into quarters, you could break that down into months, you could break that down into weeks, and you can track and see if you're on, you know, track those milestones and see if you're on pace to hit those numbers. And you can know if you need to readjust. Let's say month number one, you know, you're supposed to do, you know, four or five deals for the month, and you only got two deals in contract, right? Well, then you're gonna have to go back and really look at what you're doing and, you know, see if you need to step it up, if you need to make some tweaks to your plan. Um, or maybe you just you know need to get really focused and turn other things down. Um, but if you don't know where you're at or where you stand, how do you know if you're on track? How do you know what adjustments to make? So you're gonna have to set these incremental milestones throughout the year, probably on a monthly basis and then a quarterly basis so that you can see if you're on pace to hit your goal for the year. So you gotta track, you gotta track your numbers, you gotta even break it down to the week to see like, Okay, what lead generation activities do I need to do? How many people do I need to talk to? You gotta know these things, right? How many appointments do I need to go on to convert one client and track those things, right? Because those small things are gonna add up to the big things. So hopefully you guys get it. This is why you gotta track along the way and really just know this stuff. Um, step number five, you gotta build your team, guys. And I don't care what anybody says, you are not gonna do a million dollars in GCI or sell a ton of homes without having a team, right? And the team could be many different things, right? There's a lot of people out there I see online saying, oh, I do all this and I don't have a team, I don't have anybody. But really, if you have a transaction coordinator, that's part of your team. If you have a title rep that you work with consistently, that's part of your team. If you have a photographer that you use, if you have a handyman, if you have your go-to mortgage person that sends you referrals and stuff like that and you send business to them, that is your team right there. So it doesn't matter what the team is, you just gotta really you know, narrow that down and figure out who's gonna be on your squad. Who are the people that are gonna help you make this big thing happen? Uh, you know, We have a team, a big team, with admin and marketing people and buyer's agents and all that stuff and ISAs. And, you know, so that's a, a bigger form of a team. And maybe you're part of a team. Maybe you're starting a team and putting it together, but you really need to map that out. So what I would recommend you do is just really take a blank piece of paper um, and just really map out your organizational chart, right? If you're the, the person at the top and you have these people under you or you have the people that you use, your vendors, uh, whatever it may be, whatever that looks like for you, you need to make sure you put your team together and you know who your go-tos are so that you can you know, get really laser focused once again and make sure you're you know, pulling in the resources that you need to make these things happen, right? If you wanna sell home, a lot of homes and you wanna do it uh, stress-free and the smoothest way possible and give your clients the best experience, well then you're gonna to have to have some form of a team or some people on your squad to make it happen. Okay guys, so uh, the next step and the last step for this particular video here, uh, it's gonna be you need to have leads, right? If you're gonna sell 40, 50, 60 homes or however many homes you're gonna to sell to hit that $1 million mark, 
you got to have leads coming in, um, some form of lead generation, whatever that looks like for you. There's many ways to generate leads and opportunity. Maybe it's you go after your past clients. Maybe you go after you're on social media and you generate leads from there. Maybe you're a door knocker. Maybe you host open houses. Maybe you, you, know, you do Zillow or Realtor.com. You do online lead generation. Uh, bottom line, guys, is you have to have a lead generation strategy. I recommend that you have at least two or three at the most, maybe even just two, right? Because you want to be able to go deep with your lead sources. If you've got a bunch of different lead sources out there and you're not going deep with any of these or you're not really you know, figuring out all the little nuances and all the little uh, you know, tricks you know, for that particular lead source to convert, then you're going to be all over the place. And this is a mistake that a lot of agents do is they spread themselves way too thin and they don't convert at a high level on any of their lead sources. For us, that was a mistake we made early on and we really had to narrow it down. Um, I would recommend you know, your SOI, your sphere, your network, the people who know, like, and trust you be your primary lead source because that's going to be the easiest way to get business. That's the lowest hanging fruit because these are people who have either already worked with you or they know you from another, you know, setting, your previous job, or they know you from social media. But people who know, like, and trust you are more likely to transact with you than a cold lead from an online source. Um, and then from after, if you're working your, your sphere and you're really putting a lot of effort into that and going deep with that, then you may gonna, might want to add you know one other source. Maybe you're doing online leads. Maybe you host open houses every weekend and you generate uh, you know leads that way. Whatever it is, guys, you've got to map this thing out. You've really got to narrow down your lead sources so that you have clients coming in and you have people to meet with and you have people that can actually uh, transact with you, right? If you don't have leads, you're not going to have any business. So... In this video, guys, this was part two out of the three video series on the eight steps how to make a million dollars in uh, real estate in 2022. Uh, we talked about tracking uh, your progress along the way. We talked about assembling your team, who's your squad that's going to go out there and help you make these deals happen. And um, we talked about you know having enough leads to feed the business and to generate you know the deals that you're trying to uh, generate in 2022 to hit a million bucks. So uh, stay tuned for the next video and we'll wrap this up. Thank you.